If I know that I want PD to start and open the same image every time um, it starts, it might not be useful to use the bang open panel message of getting PD to open an image and texture it to a shape. In this instances, I hard code the name of the image that I want PD to open into the pics image object. So after pics image, I s put a space and then I write the name of the image with its file extension that I want PD to open. In this instance, it's one dot JPEG. The reason I don't have to give the file path and I can just give the name of the image that I want PD to open is because my image is stored in the same folder as my PD file. And when I do this, all I have to do is write the name as the image. If it was in another folder, um, I would have to give the exact route or tell PD how to find the image. So one hint would be to store all the images that I'm going to use in a PD project in the same folder together so then I can just write the name of my image in. So this means every time PD opens it's going to open um, image1.jpg and textured onto this rectangle. If I add another render chain, for this instance I'm just going to copy and paste this render chain and Apple C or Control C to copy and then Apple C or Control V to paste you'll see that I have now a second render chain I'm going to change the name of the image in this render chain to 2.jpg and now if I turn these render chains on and off I should see my images flicking. So this render chain is turned on, I see image 1.jpg. I turn this render chain off, turn this render chain on, I see image 2.jpg. Okay, so if I wanted to add a bit of interactivity into this project, I could use it or map each one of these render chains to a key on my keyboard. Um, to do this, um, and what this would do would mean I could make it so every time I press key A, this render chain would be turned on. And every time I, cr I press key B, the B key, this render chain would be turned on. To do this, I need to work with the key object. So put object and key, K-E-Y. What the key object does is it gives me the number of any key that I press. So to see the number of the key that I press, I put an I put a number box and I will connect this to my key object. Now when I press a key on my keyboard, the key object will output a number that that key object outputs every time you press it. So when I press A, the key object outputs 97. So every time I press the A key on my keyboard, the A key outputs 97 to the computer. When I press the B key on my keyboard, it outputs the number 98. So, and every key outputs a unique number to the computer. So if I wanted then to make it so every time I press the A key, it turns on one render chain. What I would have to use is the select um, object and put object. And what the select object does is, if I use the select object or cell for short, and I'll give it the number that I want it to select, so I'll say 97, which is the number that A outputs when it's pressed. Um, when select receives the number 97 it will send a bang okay so if i connect the select to this object here or this render chain here every time i press a it will send a bang so now it's turned off the render chain and now it turns it back on
okay nothing's happening because this other render chain is turned on so I'll turn off this render chain and nothing that we can see is happening and now when I press A we can see that it's turning on my gem head and when I press it again it's turning it off and this is because it sends a bang every time it receives the number 97 um, if I want um, the other um, render chain to uh, turn on and off every time it receives the letter B I have to find what number B um, outputs when pressed on the keyboard so I press B on my keyboard and I can see from my key object it outputs 97 so I'll put the select put object and select and okay sorry it's so num 98 for B 98 so now every time B is pressed it will send a bang and turn on and off that render chain as I'm pressing it here. So there's one problem is that it does turn it on and off but I have to press the same key twice. So I press A, it sends a bang, it turns my render chain on and if I want it to turn off I have to press it again and then I press B, it sends a bang to select 98, turns that render chain on but to turn it off I have to press it again and what I want to happen is when I select 90 or press A which is sends the number 97 I want it to turn on one render chain and turn off the other so if I put a message with a zero object or the number zero and connect it to number 97 or select 97 object and send it to the other render chain which is this one what it will do is every time 97 or the A key is pressed select 97 will send a bang to this render chain and turn it on but it will also send a zero to this render chain to turn it off because in computers one the number one turns things on and the number two or sorry the number one turns things on and the number zero turns things off so i'll copy and paste this zero i'll bring it underneath the select 98 object which is my key b key and connect it to the other render chain so what is happening now is when when I press the A key um, the number 97 sends a bang to this render chain and will turn this toggle on and it will send a zero to this render chain and turn this one off um, and this vice versa will happen here so we can see A is on oh. and I press B and it turns this off and that one on, press A, it'll turn this one on and that one off.